Welcome back to the Digital Imaging Channel. I'm Will and today I'm gonna to be talking about document scanning and disposal. Document disposal is the process of destroying your hard copy records, typically once they've been scanned. In our case, when we work with the clients, document disposal is an add-on service to the actual scanning and digitization of our clients' records. We don't typically do a disposal project on its own. It's mostly in conjunction with a digitization or scanning project. And the way we do it, when we do include disposal as part of our projects, we have a destruction authorization form so that you know that nothing will get destroyed until you sign off on it. So we don't wanna destroy it and you don't want it destroyed until both parties agree and assign the form that says, we are going to dispose of these records. You confirm that and you give us authorization to then dispose of your records. A couple of considerations for disposal are when you don't want the hard copy records back for you. Maybe you're moving, you don't have a space to take them with you or you're just not getting into them enough and you need to keep them, but you don't want the hard copies because they're just not useful anymore. So you want them digitized and then the hard copy records destroyed. You don't need them anymore. That can tie into document retention and maintenance of records. So it's maybe an end of life for some documents and you're getting a good number of them scanned, but some of them are end of life. You want to dispose of the ones that don't need to be maintained. They can be purged as part of maybe a digitization project. So you're scanning a good number of your documents, but some of them, you can just purge because they're actually no longer needed. You don't need to maintain them anymore. When you actually decide to dispose of your records, there are three main methods. There's trash and recycling, shredding, and then storage. So method number one, trash and recycling. Trash and recycling is typically used for non-sensitive records. So let's say you have a project that involves newspapers. We're working with a library, they want some newsprint digitized, but then they don't want the papers returned to them after the fact. That's public information that's readily available anywhere, it doesn't need to be shredded, there's no sensitive information on it. Trashing or recycling those records would be just fine. The project's over, they go into the trash or recycle bin and then it's picked up as just common practice. And then those are just disposed of that way. There's nothing special about it because there's no sensitive records on them. Shredding is the next method which does involve taking those records and putting through a shredder so that the images or the data on there is not recognizable after the fact. And this is typically used for anything with sensitive data. So it could be student records, their names, social security numbers, dates of birth, financial records, criminal records, medical records. Anything with sensitive information should go through a shredding process so that the documents cannot be put back together after they've been disposed of. The third method, although not really a disposal method or destroying the records, I'm still including it here, but it is storage. So why is this included? Because going back to the example from the beginning, if you're moving offices and let's say you have 500 boxes, but you're downsizing, you're moving to a smaller office and you can't take those with you, you're not actually disposing of your records or your documents, but you're not bringing them with you, you can't take them, so you're putting them into storage as a semi-disposal method. You're not bringing them with you to have your office uh, on site, but you are kind of getting them out of the way. So off-site storage, a lot of companies that do that, so you can still have them, but they're just not kind of right in front of you and in your face and taking up all that space that you could use otherwise. So although it's not a real disposal method, it's still included because it is a way to get rid of your records from your primary location. Some considerations for disposal are first, you know, the quantity of documents that you have that are part of the disposal process. So if you're getting let's say 10 boxes scanned by a company then you want to dispose of, pretty simple, not gonna cost that much. If you have 500 or 1,000 boxes, you will need to take that into consideration because that's a pretty sizable part of your project. You may not wanna have your scanning company take care of it. Typically, scanning companies like ours don't do this as a primary service. So they may not have the machines there, they may be subcontracting the work and having another company come in to actually do the disposal. You may find ways to do it yourself or do it uh, more cost effectively through a service that specifically does disposal. So quantity of documents is a consideration. Of course, as we mentioned, the sensitivity of the records is a huge consideration for disposal. If you have sensitive records and you're gonna have your scanning company dispose of them, ask about their process and how they do that disposal because you wanna make sure that those records are disposed of properly and they are actually destroyed in the method that they should be handled based on their security level that those records are part of. And then lastly, when you get records destroyed, let's tell you going back to that early example that you have maybe 100 boxes and 20 of them are actually end of life. You can purge those, you don't need them. But those other 80 you are gonna have scanned. You scan those 80 boxes and you have those extra 20, but your scanning partner is gonna actually have all 100 of them disposed of. You need to make sure that A, you absolutely do not need those 20 boxes that you didn't get scanned. You don't need that information at all. 
never gonna need it again because it's gonna be destroyed. And for the 80 boxes that you did get scanned, make sure that they were accurately captured because again, those physical copies, those original documents will be gone after they're destroyed. And you need to make sure that yes, they were scanned, but were they scanned comprehensively? Did you capture all the information? Do as much checking as you can that's feasible to make sure that you have those records, they were captured, the ones that were scanned, and the ones that you're not scanning, you absolutely do not need those anymore because once they're shredded, they're gone. That covers document scanning and disposal, some considerations for disposal, and some methods to give you an idea of what you can uh, expect out there when you look for this service. Thank you for joining. Make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this, and we'll see you next time.